I'm going to listen to Polo Perks, Ailey, and Fear Dorian, A Dog's Chance. I think that cover sums it up, really. I know they're playing a game, but that could be them in the studio. There's moments on this that are just absolutely inspired that just made them pull that faces. It's a really good, fun album. I mean, it's hip-hop. It's not too taxing. Short tracks, 27 minutes, 16 of them. And just a really, really enjoyable, if not completely standout hip-hop album. It's an 8 out of 10 from me. Track one, <clears throat> and it's a really good start with Rainbow. Uh, sampled of an old Disney song, quite a new Disney song about two mountains, so it's got sort of a Hawaiian feel. So I recognise the sample, but what they do with it, that beat they put in the background. As I say, this is fun time Charlie music. It's not deadly serious. It's there to have a party, and it's the sort of party I want to go to. Cracking start, 9 out of 10. Track 2, They Love Ayuli. Um, I love Ayuli. He's very, very good. I don't know which is which, um, but this track is just classic follow-up to the first song, really. It's got that sort of Oasis-esque Wonder Wall guitar, and that beat of bang, 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 bang. It's a sound that you don't hear very often, and I should hear more often, because I really like it. Again, party time, uh, 8 out of 10. Track three, Skate Park, more of the same, just wonderful music, just bang, 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 and the bass on this, this is, you know, really standout electronic bass, and just party, 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 enjoy it, enjoy the party. Short tracks, so I'm not going to say too much about all of them. Nine out of ten. Uh, track four, it's not really a track, is it? Uh, Max G interlude, 30 seconds of Max G shouting, with people saying, aha, uh -huh, to him, that'll do. 5 out of 10. Track 5, Ricky Eats Acid, more good stuff but nothing really new to say about it because it does sound like the other tracks but nothing wrong with that especially when it's a short and sweet album like this. 8 out of 10. And track 6, Tony Snell, whoever Tony Snell may be, good name for a person, good name for a song, good song. A little bit noisier than the rest of it, we've got some proper distorted guitars going on here that, that bring it to life a little bit and the beat's slightly not quite as loud and strong but works better for it it's sort of a crackle rather than a big snap drum beat but it's a lovely sound and such an interesting one doesn't sound like much else eight out of ten track seven rock band tees eight denims uh, my daughter just went oh i know this one and it definitely it's a sample that is really annoyingly close to the top of my head i've got sort of 80s pop in my head that hook but again they've mashed it up they've messed it around it's not as straightforward as most samples you know they seem to do things with their samples that that others don't that just make them a little bit more interesting and party -y. uh another eight out of ten track eight answers what they do but more mellow so it sounds like it's a tracy chapman sample or somebody don't recognize it though it's sped up slightly and again just a little bit more loopy than normal uh, but that seems to be their way and it's a good thing and it's a good track seven out of ten Track nine, Pinky. Yeah, this is what they're good at, that. Boom, 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 boom. It's like a beat that not really heard in hip-hop much, and another great sample, messed around with, and brilliant, and just just enjoying the journey. It's too, you know, when the tracks are 1 minute 22, and 121, and 58 seconds, it's sort of impossible to get bored. Eight out of 10. Track 10, and my favorite track, uh, Paper Planes Soldier. You know the sample um, from MIA, but it was The Clash originally. And it's just used brilliantly. I do want to hear the boom, 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 though, which isn't in it, you know, but I guess they couldn't completely steal the track. Yeah, highlight for me. 10 out of 10. Track 11, Breach World. Um, great guitar. I think it might be live guitar rather than a sample with their beat. It is their beat, isn't it? You know, they don't mess around with their beats too much. It is that boom, 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 driving beat, which is great. Good song. Um, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Track 12, Carissa's Weird. Um, perhaps for the first time sounding a little bit samey, um, because it is quite samey. It's a good samey, and it's only 27 minutes, so it can't be too, you know, too boring. But... Just maybe for the first time, I'm not hearing anything new on this track. Six out of ten. Track 13, Backpack. Again, another one that sounds like Tracy Chapman sample. It sounds a bit like Fast Car, but I don't think it is. But it's sort of, it might be messed around with. Either way, it's a lovely listen. And it's always interesting. It's nice to sort of play these little games as you listen to these albums. Eight out of ten. 
Track 14, Benice to me. Nothing really new to say about that track. You know where you stand now. Not one of my favourite samples, not a highlight on the album. But maybe if I just heard it on its own in the beginning, I'd love it. It's one of those I'm not sure because it's so late in the album. Six out of ten. Track 15, Alicia Keys. Even at 27 minutes, this album does absolutely fly by because it's so many tracks. I don't know if it's an Alicia Keys sample. I don't know what the reference is to Alicia Keys, but it's all right. It's all right. It's sort of mid-table on the album without exciting me too much. Six out of ten. Sixteenth and final track, Left Right. Uh, it's by far the longest track on the album at two minutes 43. A, a positive epic. Um, and it's a going out of a whimper rather than a bang. It's a nice mellow little head bopper. That's all right in a decent way to end the album. Uh, seven out of ten. So my overall review of Polo Perks, Fear Dorian and Ayuli. A uh, Dog's Chance is that it's a great, quick, short, sharp hip-hop album that's worth half an hour of anybody's time. There's a lot going on in it. The samples in it are pulled apart and there's this great beat that you hear on pretty much every single track. And yeah, you know, if you love your hip-hop or if you don't love your hip-hop, give it a listen. Um, it's an 8 out of 10 from me.